During your travels, you may have come across one of the many new roundabouts across the Commonwealth and maybe even in your hometown. Roundabouts provide for increased capacity of vehicles through an intersection because they allow traffic to continuously flow, yielding only until a gap in traffic is available. Here in Pennsylvania, where intersections were converted to roundabouts, fatalities and major injuries were significantly reduced, as were moderate and minor injuries. So how does a roundabout work? When approaching and entering a roundabout, motorists should slow down and be prepared to yield to pedestrians in the crosswalk. Once at the yield line, motorists should look left to check for approaching traffic within the roundabout. Remember, circulating traffic has the right of way. When there is a safe gap, motorists may enter the roundabout. Once a motorist has entered the roundabout, they should proceed to their exit point. As they approach their exit point, motorists should use their right turn signal. Upon exiting the roundabout, motorists must be aware of pedestrians and be prepared to yield to those on the crosswalk. How do multi-lane roundabouts work? Multi-lane roundabouts work similar to single-lane roundabouts. The only difference is picking the correct lane prior to entering the roundabout. If a motorist wants to make a right turn, they must be in the right lane unless otherwise marked. Motorists wishing to travel straight may be in either lane unless otherwise marked. When turning left or making a U-turn, motorists must be in the left lane unless otherwise marked. Once a motorist is in the proper lane for the direction they wish to go, they may approach, circulate, and exit the roundabout as they would a single lane roundabout. Do not change lanes within the circulating roadway. Motorists using the inside lane should only cross the outside lane upon entry and exit. What should you be prepared for when driving in a roundabout? Motorists should be prepared for anything, especially emergency vehicles, large trucks, bicyclists, and pedestrians. When emergency vehicles are approaching, do not enter the roundabout. Pull to the side. If you are in the roundabout, exit at your intended exit, then pull to the side. Do not stop in the roundabout. Motorists should be aware of large trucks in a roundabout. There is typically a truck apron provided around the center island for truck trailers to track onto. The aprons are meant for the trailers of large trucks to traverse as needed. In many multi-lane roundabouts, trucks may need to use more than one lane. Motorists should not attempt to pass trucks in a roundabout. Motorists should watch for bicyclists as they may maneuver through the roundabout as either a pedestrian or a vehicle. Motorists must never overtake a bicyclist in a single lane roundabout and must help keep pedestrians safe. So how do pedestrians and bicyclists navigate a roundabout? Pedestrians should always use the sidewalks and look to the left for approaching vehicles when they've reached the crosswalk. When vehicles yield, cross the street to the area between the splitter islands. It provides a refuge between opposing lanes of traffic. Finally, look right for approaching vehicles and when vehicles yield, cross the remaining lanes of traffic. Pedestrians should never cross within the circulating roadway. When bicyclists approach a roundabout, they have options. They may occupy the appropriate lane and navigate the same as motorized traffic, going in the same direction following the same rules. They should use right turn hand signals when necessary and occupy the middle of the lane. They should not hug the curb. Cyclists may also walk their bicycles around the roundabout within marked pedestrian crosswalks. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Pennsylvania's modern roundabouts. Learn more about roundabouts at pendot.gov.